my mind and way out of my league. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. So I'm on my way to pick up Larissa. We are heading to a fall market. Today is the first day it feels like I wouldn't even say like fall, like it's felt like fall. Today feels like really late fall, early winter, I hate to say it. It's four degrees Celsius, it's cold. And we're in the peak season of all of the trees changing color. Every tree is like vibrant, so yellow, like purple, red. It's beautiful right now. This is my favorite time of year in terms of living in Canada. We're gonna grab some coffee and just take a little trip to this small town close to us. They have a really cute fall market with a bunch of local vendors. Hopefully I can actually pick up my pumpkins today and maybe get a treat for Thanksgiving for the cottage tomorrow. Just see what's there really. Uh, I have Easton in the back with me, hence the flashing lights, although he's fallen asleep now from what I can see. And yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a fun day. So I'm gonna see, we'll see what I get in terms of vlog footage and bring you guys along with us. You were born, you were born to be on display <laughs> And I'm hard to God, read so I thought of you Hoping that the ripples Would make you notice me, notice me And now you're here Sunlight on the ripples Somehow you noticed me, noticed me. So cute. I need to pet one. Have you met one? I've never seen Oh my one. god. They're the cutest little things. They might spit. I don't believe, I don't believe it's all about the things that we share. Marry me, marry me when the lights go out. You know I'll be there. I thought of you, hoping that the ripples would make you. So I'm back from the market. I ended up picking up a pie. It's bring to Thanksgiving tomorrow. They did have quite a few things. There was like a bunch of local vendors. Split some some spring rolls, some veggie spring rolls. Brian didn't end up working this weekend, so this morning he took Easton for like an hour so I could get ready. And then when I was at the market, he cleaned the house, did a bunch of outdoor prep or like basically just winterizing outside. Is that a word, winterizing? Like, we started taking down our patio furniture and such and just like caulking some of the windows because we've had a really bad ladybug problem. And yeah, just doing a bunch of stuff like that today. I've been doing laundry since I got home and editing. We ended up with clearing out all of the stuff that was in our under the stairs, like all of our stock food, which is like popcorn, soups and cereals and beans and corn. And I think Ryan's gonna try and, I think he said he's gonna do some work on it. I don't think he's gonna be able to finish it, but like, he's gonna try and get some work done under there. Even me trying to edit might be a little ambitious. This guy's getting hungry, so I'm gonna feed him right now while watching The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes, okay, okay, I hear you. And yeah, then tonight I'm gonna take a nice hot shower and do a little self-care before going to the cottage tomorrow for Thanksgiving. had to do such a trick and wrap my cardigan around Easton so that he would stay asleep because he was napping and I was afraid he was going to wake up. I'm going to do all of the things. I need to shave my legs. Well, I don't need to, but I want to shave my legs. I'm going to wash my face, put a face mask on. I got a new hair detangler, so I'm excited to try that and paint my nails a little later. And yeah, I'm just going to do all the self-care things right now because it is so, so necessary. I cannot tell you how much I need a hot shower. 
this is going to feel amazing. It's the little things in life now. Things that used to just come so easy now are like treats. Don't mind the mess. We are in the midst of cleaning our room. We have so much backlogged laundry <laughs> that we need to clean. Who cares? We'll just pile it all onto the floor and do it. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. We're going to the cottage for Thanksgiving, but we'll do it at some point. I'm almost done this, but I've been using this Honest Beauty Deep Hydration Face Cream. Switched over to this when I ran out of my Bare Minerals, and then Bare sent me a new moisturizer. So I'll be switching back after I'm done this, although I did like this. This feels so lush right now. Just like taking a hot shower and putting on creams. It feels way too good. I feel like it'd be less creepy. Like I look rough right now. I feel like I look tired, which is fine. But <laughs> I feel like it'll look a little better if I maybe like make it a vibe this way. I have a mess to clean up here. I normally pride myself on keeping this whole area pretty clean. Not lately. So this is the new detangler that I bought. Larissa told me to get it. Apparently this is amazing. Like I almost grabbed one from Winners the other day and she was like, no, drug definitely get this. It is amazing for detangling hair. It's like a specific brand. It's called Tangle Teaser. So I grabbed one. I also grabbed some new leave-in conditioner because I ran out of my um, Function of Beauty leave-in conditioner. Empty. So I'm trying out this Baby Bum Conditioning Detangler. It's plant-based, vegan, hyperallergenic, pediatrician tested. My hair's gotten so long again and so tangly. Got a nice giant tub of the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. This stuff smells amazing. Been in love with it for a little while. I only use it on areas that Easton doesn't touch. So just my belly, my legs, my butt, and that's pretty much it because I try to be very like cautious of anything that goes up against his skin because his skin is so fresh and so new. Um, but this is like a the smell of this is amazing. This is probably one of my favorite smelling creams. It is definitely on the more expensive side. Treated myself to a nice big tub. I'm gonna put this on my tummy, which, you know what? Maybe I'll show you actually. Working on this body neutrality thing and actually feel like I'm doing a really good job, but I will show you the kind of aftermath, if you will, of pregnancy if this is something you don't want to see if this would trigger you in any way just kind of like skip forward but for the most part tried to put on a skirt the other day doesn't fit me which is fine neutrality don't care um, and most of my like lower uterus lower tummy region has kind of gone back into my pelvic bowl but I have a lot of excess skin so I'll show you because you know curiosity but also like who cares making this a normal thing you know Pregnancy is amazing, the female body is amazing, and yeah. So, stretch marks down here, and just like, lots of excess skin. <laughs> I still have that line from pregnancy. Um, my belly button has started to go back inside. I have quite a bit of like, excess skin right here. This is where I was getting like, some pains, stretching pains towards the end of pregnancy. My, this was my old belly piercing. It's a funny shape now. I mean, this body birthed my favorite being on the entire planet. So I'm just going about it with the vibe of like, how can I nurture myself? How can I care for the body that did all that, that work for me? And yeah, kind of just, again, neutrality. It's a term that I heard in the last year and a bit. Like I was all about body positivity kind of like 2019, 2020, and then I started hearing this term about body neutrality, where you're just like neutral about your body because sometimes body positivity is forcing yourself to feel positive about your body when you don't have to. There's always gonna be days where you don't. Um, let me just pop a leg up here. <laughs> so body neutrality is more so about just like feeling neutral about your body. It's not really feeling one way or another. It's like just not putting in so much emphasis on how you perceive your body and instead be more so in your body, like the embodiment, the feeling of what it's like to be in your body, to take care of your body. And then wherever it lands, wherever it falls, whatever it looks like in that phase, is like you're just kind of neutral about it. And so I feel like I've actually been doing a really good job about that. And I have not weighed myself, I have not like checked myself post-pregnancy, just trying to nurture myself post-pregnancy, because again, my body just did a wickedly incredible thing. Gave me my, my little babe. 
Wow, this is amazing. My hair is almost as long as it was in like 2018, which is crazy. Pregnancy definitely made my hair grow a lot. Um, and now I'm just trying to maintain it, I guess. I do understand though why a lot of people tend to cut their hair when they have kids because I've already gotten chunks of my hair ripped out. So that's why I always keep this clip close by and clip my hair up for the most part. I've been growing my hair back out for like, what is it, 2019, 2020, 21, 22? Three years now. It's definitely naughty because it's just so long and there's so much of it. I should be cleared in like another week and a half to pick up my exercise regimen. Basically, you're just gonna be biking again and just doing like my yogas again and such in my yoga room when I can. Right now I'm walking and I did get cleared at my four weeks to start doing light yoga, but I just haven't had like any time to really. But I do miss just like that feeling after a good workout. I love that feeling so much. You know, your body just feels invigorated. I'm looking forward to that again, especially as the colder months start to dwindle in. I love having the bike at home for that reason. I'm still kind of, you know, making it up as I go right now in terms of my day-to-day -day routine. Like, I also feel like I look ghostly in the viewfinder. Do I? You can be honest. It's okay. I know I haven't slept a full night since September 4th. You won't be hurting my feelings. Tis the season to be ghostly, but cozy. Ghostly, but cozy. This song has been stuck in my head. I can't believe that I like, sometimes I get like randomly, not self-conscious, but just like so hyper aware that I vlog <laughs> like just totally in the bear, you know? My red ass face, my missing eyebrows that really need to be plucked. Um, might just get them waxed when I get other things waxed. Finally. Uh, but there's a level of realness to it too. So like I try not to shy away from it and not just be like, okay, never mind, I'm not gonna vlog because I don't like the way I look in the viewfinder. Like, no, we just talked about it. Neutrality, right? Not always easy, but it's important. I'm gonna paint my nails a nice auburny color. This has just been the same orangey color that I've been wearing for a while now. If anybody's curious, it's the Expressi Quick Dry Nail Color. This is in Saffron The Move. I've been looking for a color like this for so flippin' long. And then on my feet, this is like super different. I don't know if it's gonna be the right vibe, but I'm gonna try black. This is Little Black Dress by Kuo, cruelty free. And some of their some of their polishes are actually plant-based as well. This one isn't, but this one is, oh wait, it is. It says 100% vegan and cruelty free. There you go. This brand, I really like. I have a lot of their colors because once I find something I like, I think I said this in a vlog a couple vlogs ago, when I find something I like, I stick to it. I found that nail polish and I've been sticking to it and I have almost all of the colors that I like from that brand in my little tiny nail polish collection on my shelves behind you. I'll do eventually do a little like makeup station tour maybe in the winter when I get it better organized. It's kind of like how I keep my makeup and my products at the top. I am like blown away that he's still sleeping and loving it that he's giving me so much time right now to self-care. I had a whole morning of like getting dolled up and now I feel like I have a whole night of self-care and it is Ryan's downstairs with him by the way like he's not alone uh, Ryan just doesn't have the mechanics once he does wake up to uh, give him what he needs I've caught myself a few times getting a little self-conscious talking about like so much of my new phase of life like motherhood because like I mentioned and it, it hasn't been the sole focus of my vlogs but yet at the same time my vlogs are my video journals of my life and my life has obviously drastically changed and for me it's been for the better but I've been also at the same time trying to kind of balance that with still like I said back in the summer making sure that these vlogs still feel like it's just us hanging out because that's the whole point for me and also to keep the privacy of my son which is why I haven't really shown him himself a lot and I want to give him that option as he gets older. I definitely subconsciously am worried that people are gonna think I'm talking about Easton too much without trying to sound too, I don't know, inflated if you will. I think I'm doing a pretty good job from like again juggling just the aftermath of my own body and my own healing 
and making sure I don't lose myself. Not that you lose yourself, but just like making sure I don't forget myself is maybe a better way to put it. You don't lose yourself. You just don't want to forget yourself in the midst of so much change. And then on top of that, still making sure that Ryan and I prioritize each other and also just bonding as parents, as new parents together has been really fun. And then just stuff with the house, keeping our house on top of everything, keeping my work on top of my work because my job is a job that nobody else can just come in and do for me and I don't really get a mat leave from so you know it's a lot to balance at once but for whatever reason I feel very chill I just feel kind of I feel pretty grounded I feel like I'm doing as good of a job as I can and balancing it all um, I definitely have days and I definitely have moments and it's not all as easy as it seems I guess in a vlog because vlogs have a tendency of doing that of simplifying everything and making it look or seem like it's 10 times easier than it is. It's not. This was a good chat. I feel like it was kind of all over the place, but such is life, literally. Uh, so I'm gonna wind it down here. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It was nice going to the market. I'm gonna vlog, or at least try to vlog tomorrow as well at the cottage, the cottage that Ryan family owns. It's beautiful. It's very secluded and it's going to be peak fall season. So we're bringing the drone, we're bringing our GoPro, we're going to just like, you know, bring all of the stuff and uh, I will do my best to vlog that tomorrow as well or just see what I get. And outside of that, I'm going to throw on my slippers and a nice, you know, a nice cardigan. Head downstairs, watch a movie with my little family. Wait for my little guy to wake up and want to eat. And I will see all of you guys. For me, it'll be tomorrow. For you, it'll be whenever I can edit the vlog and get it out to you guys. Bye. Remember sunsets and